Tier 2 Void Glooms, one of the most common fought slayers in Hypixel Skyblock. Today I'm going to be telling you which armor set, pet, weapon, healing item, and strategy you need to kill a Tier 2 Void Gloom boss in Hypixel Skyblock. And without that, let's actually get into the video. Okay guys, so basically let's start with the armor set first. So the armor set you're going to be needing is a Final Destination armor set with Groat 5, Prot 5, Rejuvenate 5, and Thorns 3 on all of the pieces. And another thing you are going to be needing is you're going to be needing at least 10,000 kills on each piece of Final Destination armor. Total, this is going to be costing you 20 million coins on the auction house if you can find a good price. Also, it has to have Ancient on it, which costs probably another 5 mil or so. So probably in total, this is going to be costing you around 25 million coins right here. Um, also, you're going to need some soul flow. As you guys can see, I have 1,300 soul flow. Buy some from the bazaar. It's not expensive at all. And then for the healing items right here, we have the zombie florid sword and the wand of atonement. And in total, this is going to be costing you around... 12 million coins again if you want ultimate wise 5 on your wand of atonement it's optional you don't have to you can always do it though if you want to so boom there we go zombie floor sword and wand of atonement healing items <clears throat> now for the weapons we got the giant sword i'm joking you don't need a giant sword it's either giant sword shadow fury livid dagger you can either use all of those for the tier 2 bosses or you can use the Voidage Katana, which I'm going to show you right now. Okay, guys, so the cheapest Voidage Katana right now is going for 645 million coins. And basically, with the Voidage Katana here, all you really need to add to this is just enchantments, hot potato books, and you need to add the, the combo or swarm ultimate enchant to the Voidage Katana. And then that way, you will actually have a good Voidage Katana to deal damage to Endermen. Also, by the way, you can ha need to have Fabled on this, which is probably another mil or so. So in total, this is going to probably be costing you, if you used Combo, which is really cheap, Congo Combo 5, in total, this is going to be costing you around 3 million coins for a good Voidage Katana. And this is, this is actually deals as much damage as the Giant Sword does. So it is actually as good as the Giant Sword for Tier 2 Endermen. Okay, so we got the Armor Set, Healing Items, Weapon, all of them covered now we're talking about the pet the pet you're going to be needing here is a level 100 mythic enderman pet it doesn't have to be mythic it can also be legendary and what you're going to need is you're going to need iron claws on this pet it's like it does it's it's not required but i like it because it de deals more damage <clears throat> and basically why this is so important is because of the enderian um thing take 30% less damage from end monsters. Also, another reason why this is super um, important is because it gives you more crit damage. And also, that's really, that's pretty much it. You get more combat XP, I guess, if you want. But like, basically, that is not that important. The whole point is the Enderian and the crit damage. That's why this is so good. And basically, the Mythic just boosts that up like a lot. So basically, that's the whole point of the Mythic pet here. And so this is going to be costing you around maybe 60 million coins. And that is really all you're going to need. So now let's talk about the total cost. Okay, so the armor set's going to be costing us 20 million coins. Plus the 12 million coin he healing items right here. So that's going to be costing us 32 million coins. Plus the Voidage Katana. This isn't one, but just please, please bear with me. This, this is probably, this is just an example. This is like going to be a Voidage Katana. I'll just pretend it is. And so that's going to be costing another 3 mil. So in total, 35 mil plus the 60 mil pet. So around 95 mil for a good budget. That's a lot of money. But the whole reason why this costs 95 mil is because you can use this setup also for tier 3s. All you really need is have to have like a better sword. Like maybe like probably like a void a Vorpal katana instead of a void edge. Probably that's the only difference and you're going to need an overflux. Um... But really, that's the only difference, and you can use a setup for tier 3s too. With the Endermen, obviously, you can use the Mythic level 100 Endermen for tier 3s too. Without that, let's move on to the strategy. Okay, guys, we are here in the Void Cell Pulcher. So, I don't... A uh, Sep Ultra, or whatever you call it, I don't really care. But I'm just gonna call it Self Ultra, and basically, okay, this thing's trying to attack me. I'm just gonna ignore it, walk around here. But basically, in this area, you're gonna come 
right over here and now you're gonna be here because if you go all the oh wait whoops if you go all the way to the top over there the sweats are actually there's gonna be sweats who are gonna like just use their hyperions and terminators and literally just like attack you oh my god i'm actually dying and they're like literally just gonna attack you um from the top uh, not attack you could attack the bosses and just really annoy you and probably kill your own boss and like you know w without you actually killing it and it's just super annoying there's just sweats up there and these are where the sweats usually are like, trying to grind out their bosses but they actually don't spawn the bosses in this area and basically um, i'm just gonna try to kill this thing and talk to you guys after that okay guys i just killed it uh the enderman that was annoying me and basically now um he over right, right here you're gonna come over here and now the reason why i'm telling you it's like a flat area here is because the tier 2 boss will drop beacons on you and basically this is a flat area so you can see the beacons wherever they actually drop for you and this is actually very good because if you're in a crouched place like over there the beacons might glitch through the wall or something and it's just super duper annoying and then you just like lose your boss fight so that's why i would recommend doing it in a flat area right here and not up there as i said before because there's sweats that let's just kill your boss for you and it doesn't let you have the fun of winning and really that is actually how to kill a tier 2 i hope you guys enjoyed anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's guide of how to kill a tier 2 void gloom boss full guide and while you're still here if you're still here if you guys don't mind hitting that subscribe button like button and the bell it really helps me out a lot and it would mean so much to me thank you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye guys